Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to make something interesting. I saw a video on Jess's channel and he used what's called a clay board. And I think it's only available in Australia. So I thought I've got some plaster and water and I've got some particle boards I use for different projects. Uh, you can see it up here. And I thought let's try and make this ourselves. So I'm just going to be mixing up some of this plaster it says two parts plaster, one part water. So let's do that first. So I'm just going to use an old cup and I'm just going to scoop in six spoons of plaster. So three spoons of water. One, two, three. Let's mix. I think that's way too dry. So that ratio is really, really off. One more. I think that's a lot better. You don't need it to be too wet. And now I'm going to put a layer of this on top of my board and smooth it out. And hopefully I will be able to get a nice smooth layer. I should have made way more. And as you can see in Jess's video, he's using it to make a cool contrast piece. It's basically a scratch card, but with plaster. So I'm just going to try and get a layer of the plaster all over the board. So let's try and smooth this out. And I don't mind the sides being a little bit thinner. And my idea about this is to add a layer of either ink or acrylic paint on top and let it dry and then scratch a design into it and see how that looks. So the gypsum is dry and I just want to smooth it down. So I'm going to be sanding it with, I think about 180 grit. And I'm going to do this outside while wearing a respirator, but I just want to show you a little bit. So here you see a line. And now it's gone. So I'll just smooth out the whole area and then it will be ready for the next step. This is as smooth as I can get it. And it is a little bit domed. So I'm going to be putting my design, I think, more in the center. First, I'm going to try and add some of this ink on top. It is a very, very dark purple. And I'm going to use a foam brush. And then I'll add probably a coat of black acrylic paint on top, just a thin coat. And let that dry as well. And then we can start by putting our design on here. It's the next day and my black top coat is dry. And I made a design on a computer that I want to make on here, just to make it a little bit easier for me to see where everything goes. Let's start with the moon. So I might flip this around like so. And I want to make sure it's round. So let's see if I've got something that's round and I can use. That's going to be too big. Let me go look. So I've got my little templates I've been using for I think about two years now. And I also have these rulers I can use to make some shapes. But let's just find the right size for the moon. I think this one will do. So it's the moment of truth. Let's see if it actually works. Let me zoom you in a little bit. I'm just using one of my um, clay tools that has a sharp point. And I also have a fluffy brush just to brush away. So let's try and make this design. And it's not going to be exactly the same, but... It's gonna look so cool. Let's see, we've got this tool, how that works. And let's try my little sharp pointy thing. I think I like the sharp pointy thing the best. It's going to take a while to do this. And I do think you need to crisscross your lines a little bit. It's really soft, so you need to be careful not to go too deep. Let me finish the moon. So let's do the outline of our little hill. So just so we know where it's going to end up at. I think the clouds are next. So I'm really thinking how I want to make them. So I might just go like this, so just small lines. I think that's going to look good. So let me go make these clouds. Let's add our woman and dog. Starting at the shoulders. 
She's wearing a blanket, so you're not gonna see the shape of her body, but the fabric that's draped over it. Her arms are peeking out from underneath, and she's resting one hand on the grass, and the other one is on the dog. You can see a little bit of her neck, and then the back of her head with all her curly hair. I really like how you can create a lot of texture just by adding lines in different ways. The lines we are making are the highlights, so remember where your light is coming from. In this case, the moon. So where the light would be hitting normally, you're going to add a lot more lines, creating a highlighted area. By using curved lines, you can show that something is round, like the fabric that's hanging over her shoulders, which is creating folds, and where the light is hitting her arm. It's amazing how much detail you can get with the sharp point. And this is not even as sharp as it used to be. It's a little bit blunt at the tip because it, I used it so much. So again, the light is coming from this angle. Just doing a light sketch first. I want the dog to be sitting here. Let's make the arm. Then you've got the thumb. And I want to get some grass on here as well. Let's just give some texture to this. Not too much. And then maybe a part of the tail coming down here. You don't want to have too many details on these drawings. So I think that looks cute. So I'm gonna just add some grass. And grass looks best if you crisscross it a little bit. And then get a couple of those little poofy areas in there. And I'll just fill up this space and then it will be time to do the trees and the final stars. And now it's time for the final reveal. I really enjoyed making this piece. It was really easy to make and carving away the top coat was really satisfying. I added something extra to it. Can you spot what it is? If you can, leave a comment down below in the comment section. And for now, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone!